Abani Goroge, Ihe, Njogi Konge, Umuna Bondoni, Oge, He, O Kweka Jesus, Bata Nubi, Umuna by Saint Jogi Konge, Bupu, O Abani Goroge, He, Njogi Konge, Bupu, Abani Goroge, Umunemo njogi konge bupo abane waroge hi he kweka Jesus batano. Who are you and how did you enter this community? On your I am Ungu, Joje Bazoku of Omonabo. Odogu, the leader of the community vigilante, as you can see. Now I ask you again. How did you gain access into this community? My name is Reverend Father Jerome Okeke. These are the Reverend Sisters with me. I am the new parish priest posted to this community, Sacred Heart Parish, Umunabo. As you can see, I'm here to do the work of my Father in Heaven. You all need salvation, so you can come on, join us. Salvation, Father Okeke, or whatever they call you. I don't know how you managed to enter this community. I'll find out where the lapses came from. You are not welcomed here. Leave now! Um, it's like you didn't hear me well. Well, I said that I am here on a divine mandate. I am here to do the work of my Father in heaven who sent me here. Alright? Listen, I am talking about the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the lilies of the valley, the I am that I am, unshakable rock of ages. The one who created all things and was created by nothing. He doesn't need me nor you to become God. That is the person I'm talking about. Now, how can I be walking under such supreme authority? And you ask me to leave. My son, that's not right. What did you just say? Did you hear him call Ugo? His son? Is something wrong with you? You must be mad. We said you should leave. We don't need you in this village. So leave! Oh, are you deaf? Are you deaf? Father Okeke, I can see you chose arrogance and stupidity over your safety. Thank you for that compliment. Njogi Kage Bupu Habani Rorage Father Okeke, the hard way you want it. The hard way you shall get it. Njogi ko oge bupu, abani oge ihe. Weka Jesus patano, asim hallelujah. Njogi ko oge bupu, abani oge ihe. Oh, njogi. Umunne ma abani oge ihe. Njogi ko oge bupu, abani oge ihe. Hallelujah! Father, yes. you are welcome. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. Yes. 
Yes. God bless you. Uh, bless you too. Um, my name is John, the catechist of this parish. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. The mm. catechist. Yes. All right. Uh, you are my namesake. <laughs> You see? That's a question. You say coincidence, you see? <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. May the peace of the Lord be with you. And and, and you also. Yeah, that's mm. beautiful. Thank that's you, Father. Beautiful. Thank you, and, Father. Um, these, these, are, these are my prayer warriors. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mm. Yes. You see, in this parish, mm. Mm, yes. the, 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 the priest in charge of this place, the parish priest, the parish priest, the parish priest yes. he traveled. Okay. So most of the things we have been doing, I've uh, been just handling things, waiting for his uh, uh, coming fine. back. He's not back. That's fine. Uh, so uh, I still welcome you for coming. That's very uh -huh. nice. I Thank you so much. You for coming. Yes. Thank you so much. And uh, the way I'm saying things, yeah, I think these people we're going to work very hard. Okay. Okay. Uh, and uplifting the glory of God in this very place. Oh yeah, you are very correct. Hey. Good day, sir. You are welcome, sir. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Father. Good evening. Please, uh, may I know you, sir? Um, what I'm about to tell you is more important than my name. And I want you to listen carefully. This place is called Omonabo, the home of the sacred gods. We are very welcome. People come in here, we treat them to our hospitality, and we convert them and they become our own. The same must apply to you, Father. For as long as you play by our own rules, respect what we respect, hold dear what we hold dear, you will enjoy your stay here. Make no mistake about it. And I mean every single word of what I am telling you. You are free to move around. Can I you are Maria as much as you can? Jupiter and Gracia. Wasa Gracia and Isia. It's your business. You are free. But the moment you utter one word against our own mode of worship, against our own deity, then you'll be inviting nightmares in the afternoon. You will not like the consequence. If you do that, you'll be crossing the red line. And if you do, you have our gods to contend with. And us. Enjoy your stay. Uh, uh, Father. Oh, by the way, you requested my name. Yes, uh, of course. Good. Chief Odumebu Obuna Nzizu. Enjoy your stay. Why are you this excited as if you want hey. the <laughs> We now have a new parish priest. <laughs> Sacred Heart Parish, Umunabo, now has a priest in the person of Reverend Father John A. <laughs> Jesus, thank you so much. How oh, good. I thank you, Lord. Amara. I'll advise you not to take that for granted. I don't know why you chose to be a stubborn girl. But for the best of my knowledge, I know our father has warned you to stop going to church. Ikenna, when will you stop being a killjoy? When? Did your daddy also tell me not to rejoice when I hear good news? Or is that one now a crime? When I got blue, I'm going to mount to Anuro. 
mosa ka chali si aka chali nya nti nti awon atu ona na okori na ona eme listen and listen very good the next time you will piss our father off i will not be there to beg for you i don't care i don't care i am an adult and i am entitled to worship wherever i want to worship and who i want to worship and i chose our lord jesus christ i see you people would have to respect that and leave me alone you and your father should leave me alone i am not disturbing the two of you leave me to worship god now amara 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 three times dad has a different opinion about this whole thing that's number one and i begin to wonder where you inherited this level of stubbornness from but i told this do not piss that man off again leave me to be happy continue i keep, beg leave me alone keep screaming until you wake odumegu up from his bed i don't stop people from doing your own thing For why would i have advice. peace of mind eh Ikena, you have Macau. Leave me alone, no. Oh. Somebody has... enter inside this, ha this, this house happy. You just spoil my mood. Understand that Odumegu is not in a good mood. Hmm. My friend, what are you looking at? My friend, go and lock the gates and stop moping at me, Mugu. Chief, peace be unto you. <laughs> Father, and also with your spirit, you are welcome. welcome. Please have a seat. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Ah. Thank you, Chief. I hope, uh, how are your people? Uh, we are fine, though. Um, uh, please, who is there? Oh? Get one glass of, for Father, please. No, 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 Chief. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Don't bother yourself. I'm in a haste, yeah. Father. So now you're in my house for the first time, you say you would take anything? Chief, Chief, there's always a second. This is like my home. What, so what do we owe this August visit? I came so that we can talk and have a mutual understanding on how to regulate the activities of the, of the knights in our parish. Did I hear you say regulate? Yeah? Regulate? Please. Regulate is a wrong choice of word for you. Father, please, with all due respect. We are not commodities. We are knight of the Catholics. Eh? I, I, I don't understand. Uh, Chief, the truth is that you and some of your colleagues are getting me confused. Confused? You said confused. How? I don't understand. Yes, Chief. You know, I cannot, I can no more differentiate some of your activities with that of occult men. With due respect, Chief, I, we are Christians. We are children of God. Most of your activities right now are shrouded in secrecy. It's supposed not to be so. So, Chief, I am here to convey my position to you so that you can relate that to the entire night of my parish. Starting from next Sunday, there will never be anything like reserved seats. If you want to sit at the front seat, Chief, please, let the person come on time. If you come late, then you stand outside where others are standing. This is house of God. All of us are equal before God. Please, let them know, including yourself with due respect, sir. You come late, you stay outside. You want to sit at the front seat, you come to church early. Please, Chief, uh, uh, this is the house of God we're talking about. We shouldn't be dwelling on status, dignitaries. I mean, uh, such thing is not recognized by God as far as I'm concerned. So, let's do the right thing in the house of God. And very importantly, Chief, I also want to tell you that it is not even... Father, I can't have you insult 
denials of Saint Anthony of the Catholic Church here in my house. You don't do that. Look, each of those men you are insulting are old enough to be your father. Is it because you are putting on this cassock? No, you don't do that to us. You don't insult us like that. Call us all courty, call us names. Why will you do that, Father? You don't do that to us. You don't do that. Well, well Chief, I guess my visit to your house has been overstretched, so I have to leave. But I'm happy that my message is well understood by you. Thank you very much. I have to take my leave. The prophet of a time has come. The savior of the time has come. The prophet of the time has come. He has come to set us free from the land of the evil. Hello? The prophet of the time has come. I want you to come to my house right now. The savior of now the time has come. Come to my house. The prophet oh. of the time has come. That boy, that small boy, Revelo Keke. Just left my house a few minutes ago. What's the problem? What did he say? He said he's coming for us tonight. He's coming for us. I don't understand. What do you mean by he's coming for us in the night? Do you know he, he looked into my eyes and told me he's comparing our activities with that of occult men. That's what he told me. What? He said that? Not only that. He told me that from next Sunday henceforth, that if any of us comes late, that the person will stand outside and our reserve seat will no longer be there for us. You can imagine what that boy is doing. <laughs> that can never happen. Like you said, it can never happen. That boy is stepping beyond his boundaries. Huh? Nobody has ever humiliated us in this community. Talk less of him. That will never happen. Now let's take decides action now let's take action on that on, on on that boy now do you have anything in mind <sighs> let's get rid of him no 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 <laughs> that is not the option now let's take this thing political approach let's take a political approach and remove him from the parish we have the will and the means to do that you know How Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed are the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us now, and your for our death. Amen. Now Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed are the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us now, and your for our death. Amen. I ask them, of Jesus, fill us with your heart, fill us with your it's for you and you alone. Heaven hear us. Heaven hear us. Amen. Okay. Then how do we go about that? I heard that the bishop has given queries separately. 
because of the way he handles the communal duties. I think by the time we pressure him, write petitions, counter petitions against him, that will be over for him. What do you think? Okay. Let's go by your option. Let's go by your option. Hello? Hello. Abomination is about to take place in our land. What? What happened? Father Okeke and his prayer team are heading to our shrine to destroy our deity. Hi. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry, I'll get back to you. It's okay. Just what is it? Just imagine. This, this self and okay, okay, this boy, huh? this boy is biting more than he can chew. I just got a call now that he's taking his prayer walls to our shrine, to go and destroy our shrine. You can imagine that boy. <laughs> that will never happen. That will never happen. That boy is going out of his mind. Eh? Do you realize that that oracle is a symbol of our tradition? Somebody should call him to order before it's too late. Anyways, um, why should we bother? This is an opportunity for the gods to fight for us, you know. Eh? Let him go while we marry and drink. Have you not heard that no one has ever stepped his feet into that shrine and come back alive? Well, that boy, that boy, he will shoot himself by the leg. Don't worry. Of course, not that even. Not that even. It is not that even. Nesu, Ozu, and Akunimi. Let him die. It. There is no cost to no no cost to worry. Let us drink and let us let us marry. Hey, what are you doing, bro? You should be dead, bro. Oko, oko, why did you get up? Why did Says more. My name is Reverend. I know whom you are. I know you, Mr. Keke. What do you want from me? 
great Alanzu Shrine. We are here under the mandate of the Most High God to liberate this community of Alanzu from the evil powers. This powers that has been holding them captive for centuries. There's a more. This is equally a golden opportunity for you to give your life to Christ. Get down on your knees. <laughs> Mr. KK, you are very, very prominent with this respected people's tradition. I tell you one thing. I don't know why you youngsters choose a lip pet as an option. Why do you choose a lip pet as an option? Because if you had known the powers that are instilled in this place you stepped your foot onto, you would have regretted that. You wouldn't have done that. Talk more of you posing a threat or challenging the mega powers that is capable enough to erase you from the surface of the earth. He that is in me is greater than he that is in the world. Yes, yes. No weapon found or fashioned against me shall prosper. There's a more. I am going to give you another opportunity. Pack your things and leave. Because any moment from now, Jinji Geji here. There is no doubt about it. I have heard that so much. Many people have said that, and finally they, they surrendered. So yours wouldn't, uh, wouldn't be an exception. Tell me something new, my dear. I want to hear. Well, if you stay here, you have yourself to be blamed. Like I said, take your things and leave. This place is going to go down. This oracle is going to go down. I'm giving you at the count of three to leave this place. One. Two. Mr. KK. Three. I'm getting, getting a man and getting. Yes, what can I do? That's what I'm going to do. Oh, let's open it, open it, open it, you're making it. Alonzo, let's go back and check out the area. I can't even get to some way. Mr. Keke, this is your funeral. Alan, Alan, you can hear me. Alan, you can hear me. Alan, you can hear me. At the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee must bow. Amen. I command you to bow to the greater power. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. bow to the greater power. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. let me have the holy water. <laughs> I command you in the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. every power of the evil, every power of the enemy. I command you in the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. leave now. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. destroy everything that is here. Every power of oracle, every power of danger, every power that has been the people of Alonso, Kathy, the Savior of the Savior. I spread this land in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. I command every of the power to destroy right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, 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 oh,
I told you. Yes. Eh? So, I told you. Yes. Eh? Hey. Hmm? Let him date. I told you. Oh. <laughs> yeah. 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 Joe, what is it? Don't tell me that the Oracle has spared any of them. In the country, they do not spare Oracle at all. What? It is not possible. It is impossible. <sighs> See? They burned down the Shirai to ashes. Hey! Where is Ezemo? Ezemo? Ezemo because he couldn't even withstand um, Father Sokeke power at all. Hey! We are finished. You mean Ezemo ran away? In this land? Arrow! Arrow. Just go, 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 go. <sighs> Help Chief Philip. Chief Philip, I think we have to go back to your option now. Um, exactly. And I know with our influence and status in this parish, we'll get rid of him. Exactly. That is the best we will do. We will achieve it. The best thing to do. Hey! Hey! Arrow, man. Arrow, man. Run away. Hi! Which is the height of this place. We will achieve it. Father Jude, good morning. What a pleasant surprise. Good morning, Father Jerome Okeke. You're welcome. Please, let's, let's, let's go oh, to oh, my No office. need, no need. The message I have is brief. Look, look. No matter how brief the message is, we are so pleased to have you here. I mean, we are honored. Come on, let's go in. I know, you see, I have a lot of activities in my program with limited time. Okay. Uh, the bishop summoned you appear before him tomorrow, 10 a.m. Father Jude, please, what is going on? I'm not privy to that information. It's okay, it's all right. Tell his lordship that I will do as he said. Okay, Father Jeremy KK. I'll be on my way now. May God be with you.
that's no more like you. But I know I can be compared with your love, God. A blessed name in the life of our brothers, our sisters. A blessed name in our congregation. A blessed name in this parish. That no mantle of darkness shall stop. No power of evil shall conquer. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because you have set me here with a divine mandate. And in your name alone, my King, shall every knee, your name shall every knee bow. And Paul shall confess to the glory of God that you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Father, the Lord is the place of Messiah, shall abide under the shadow of Almighty God. Father, I abide on your shadow. King of glory, I abide on your shadow. My parish abide on your shadow that every evil seed plants in this parish shall be rooted off in the name of Jesus Christ. Because you have sinned. Jim. Papa. Jim, my mom. Papa, you have a call. Oh, call what? Yes. Oh, you know, Who is that? Chief Odmego. Hello. <laughs> Oh, you make me Oh, Oh, I've been waiting for your call. You said that you're going to call back. And I've been waiting. I said, what? I want you to go straight to Ekripo. Tell him our position on the matter. And instruct him to act on it immediately. It's okay. It's okay, Chief. Consider it done. I'll leave. I'll go there immediately. I'll go there immediately. Immediately. You shouldn't waste any time at all. Oh, Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. Chief, I'm there. Papa. Um, go inside there. Okay. Bring my that that uh, shirt uh, on top of that bed. Okay, sir. Bring it. I want to go somewhere now. Let me wear that. Okay, Papa. Okay, Dibia. Okay, Dibia. All cannot say to be well. When Chief Ezeji, the seven eyed vulture of this community, appear before me in this mood. Odumegu sent me. He said, I should tell you that this time we need to be proactive. Did you hear what happened at Alanzu yesterday? I heard it. I still can't figure out what went wrong. We are not talking about what went wrong, okay, Dibia? It is inconsequential. What went wrong is not what we are talking about. We are talking about what will go wrong if Father John decides to toll the line 
of Father Okeke. Oya Ogun here. Oya Ogun here. Jonathan Udene. Sibuoka. So that's what we should be bothered about. Wisdom you have spoken. What did Odumegu suggest we do? We have to send Reverend Father John to where we send others. We must not wait till he starts speaking against our tradition or working against our tradition. This time around, we have to be more proactive. Meaning, let's take the beetle out before it gets close to the yam. Mm -hmm. I will swing into action immediately. We have to do everything. We love Omonabo. And we love our tradition. We have to do everything possible to protect our tradition against the domination of the foreign gods. But when we're calling, all be a kafabo. We need to tell them mad or naba. Higher, 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 and ochi ani mba. Ane, ane miye me. Ezeji. Igribo na ngobala, na ngobala. I'm sure you know what I am capable of. Hmm. <laughs> I will handle the situation. But in that you know will it. Hmm? We'll be waiting. Go and tell Odumegu. Allah will be a be. Because I will handle the situation. Oku de kefi venabo. If we make you, we'll be waiting. Igribo! Igribo! Obala, obala, bagogaya. Okay. I'll be going. No yeah. I want to go to the local. I don't know. 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 I You said you wanted to talk to me about something. Go ahead, I'm listening. Brother. Why why is it that you like to align with dad? Even when it is obvious, very obvious that he is going wrong. I don't I don't understand. Is that supposed to be a question or an interrogation? But I can. <laughs> Papa is not going on the right path. And that means you also. You are not going on the right path too. This path that the two of you are, are following. This is a path of destruction. And that can lead to eternal condemnation. Papa. The only reason I'm still sitting here and you're ranting this nonsense is simply because I promised our little mother. That I will never lay my hands on you ever again. I can remember that fateful day. May her soul rest in perfect peace. I promised her I would never touch you as a result of the beating you received from me that particular day that you slumped. But I can tell you that that particular promise can be broken at this minute. Get out of here. I said, get inside. Be a balloon. I am not going anywhere. Get out! 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 Get out!
Repentance! Repento! Repento, brother! The kingdom of God is at hand! Repent! You, you will not tell from Papa the truth! You will not tell him the truth! Every time be supporting rubbish! Be supporting evil! Motegi! Good morning, Your Lordship. Morning. Sit. Thank you, Your Lordship. <sighs> Father Jerome. Yes, Your Lordship. God is pleased with the obedient. And he displeased with the arrogant. You see, God does not give us gifts to use anyhow we like. God gives us gifts to use it rightly. Father Jerome, how could I allow pride to push him to bring it directly to the church? With due respect. Quiet! You couldn't even allow to prove me wrong that you are disobedient. I am sorry, Your Lordship. Father Jerome, I have given you countless queries. You have not given me a satisfactory answer to even one. I have told you countless times to follow the traditional teachings of the church. But you have refused. How dare you challenge the knights in your parish? I can begin to mention the countless complaints against you on my desk. Just yesterday, the Igwe of Alonso community and his cabinet came to report you to me. They reported that you burned down their shrine, is that true? Oh, oh, yes, your lordship. The action was necessary for the liberation of people of Alonso from the clutches of the devil. I'm Look, sorry. you are not sent to villages to burn down their shrines without their permission or their invitation. Your mission to villages is to win souls for Christ. Your Lordship, during my 21 days fasting and prayers, it was revealed to me that the said oracle of Alanzu community was responsible for the lack of progress of the youth of that very village. With due respect, your lordship, the oracle has to go so that the people will prosper. So now you allow your natural instincts to override the tradition and the procedure of the church? Look, Father Jerome. Yes, your lordship. Do you know that your actions can result to the villagers burning down the church? Because of the insurmountable allegations leveled against you, you are hereby suspended indefinitely. Your Lordship. You just have today. Go to the parish house and pack your belongings. Your successor is on his way to St. Anthony. Now. Yes, Your Lordship. You can leave my office. Father in heaven, you are the one that called me. I did not call myself. This moment, Lord, I pray, let your will be done. Father, let your will be done in my life.
Singularitate persone, sed in unius trinitate substantiae. Quod enim de tua gloria revelante te credimus, hoc de filio tuo, hoc de spiritu sancto, sine differentia discrezioni sentimus. The metal gong, the sound of the metal gong is either for war or for danger. Fight your battle. Hey, yo, 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 hey,
the problem our new priest is dead <laughs> <laughs> and that's why you are crying because our priest is dead <laughs> and my you never cease to amaze me <laughs> daddy what is funny is i just told you about the death of a servant of god and you are laughing but don't you have a heart just show a little sympathy, just a little. One more word on that, and I'll rearrange your dead tissues for you. I said one more word, and I'll rearrange your dead tissues for you. Christ, have Jesus, you Christ, Jesus Christ. Have you heard me? Have you heard me? 
What's going on here? Listen. Warn your sister. Amara, there is no point asking what you've done. Because I know you. I have a piece of advice for you. Come here. Come here, Come here, Listen. I have something to tell you. Hey, you might be his daughter, but you don't have an idea what this man will do to you if he loses his mind at you again. What will you do? What will you do? Oh, you're asking me what you're doing. I don't want to live in this life. Oh, you're asking me. Leave me alone. Oh, nonsense like this. Oh, my God. Listen, you are messing up. You are. Oh, this church you're going. No, no, it cannot happen. I can't honor this transfer. No, I can't go to that village. No, I don't want to die. No, I will not. Instead, I will resign as a Catholic priest. No, no, I will resign. No, no, no. So, son, I must observe that you have done marvelously well, and um, I must compensate you accordingly and adequately. So, thank you very much. There's one more thing I'd like you to do for me. I have it on good authority that the new Reverend Father is being posted to our community. I want you to put your ears on the ground. Get me all the details you can about that Reverend Father. I don't want to be taken unawares. Okay. Dad, I, I like the fact that you are making sure that no stone is left unturned. Mm. You see, it's my responsibility as the president of the town union to not only guarantee the security of the community, but also the preservation of our cultural values. And that's what I do at all times. Even if it involves it's the spilling of the last drop of my blood, I will not hesitate to do that. Uh, but, but Dad, don't you think that some people from this community will begin to think that you are usurping the power of the Iwe? It is their constitutional right to think whatever they will and uh, my responsibility to correct that notion, that impression. Um, I am not usurping the office or the responsibilities of the Igwe, no. On the contrary, I am obeying the demands of my designation as the President General of the community. Take it, take it, take it. I must preserve our values. Mama Pola. Tipa Bua Jan Tujul. I'm not going to put Jan in my flood. Big one at twelve blues. You see, Dad, you always do what you need to do. Always to protect our tradition. Thank you very much. Um, you see, our forefathers left us a very rich legacy. And it's our responsibility to protect and preserve that legacy. You may not know this, but we are all products of a very proud cultural heritage. That's our inheritance. And um, I, at the PG, must preserve the sacrosanctity of our cultural and traditional values. I always insist on your being by my side so you can learn a few things um, and learn how to take very hard decisions. You see, whenever you're confronted with challenging situations, that's what tries you out as a man. That's when to take very hard, tough decisions. By the way, I am the present general, no doubt. But I can tell you sitting down here that you are the de facto PG of our community. Why am I saying that? If they look for me and they don't find me and they see you 
I am here and now conferring you with the authority to act on my behalf. And that means that whatever decision you take will be binding on every member of the community. I want you to bear that in mind. <laughs> shoes that are bigger than my feet. You see, you seem to be forgetting the son of who you are. You are the son of Chief Odumegu Obunanzizo of Abiago. No shoes will ever be too large for this feet of yours. It's your entitlement. Therefore, don't shirk your responsibility. Mm -hmm. I have conferred the authority on you and you must use that authority with plenty of discretion. Well, my one. <laughs> Thank you. So son, I must observe that you have done marvelously well and um, I must compensate you accordingly and adequately. So thank you very much. There's one more thing I'd like you to do for me. I have it on good authority that the new Reverend Father is being posted to our community. I want you to put your ears on the ground. Get me all the details you can about that Reverend Father. I don't want to be taken unawares. Okay. Dad, I, I like the fact that you are making sure that no stone is left unturned. Mm. You see, it's my responsibility as the president of the town union to not only guarantee the security of the community, but also the preservation of our cultural values. And that's what I do at all times. Even if it involves it's the spilling of the last drop of my blood, I will not hesitate to do that. Uh, but, but Dad, don't you think that some people from this community will begin to think that you are usurping the power of the Iwe? It is their constitutional right to think whatever they will and uh, my responsibility to correct that notion, that impression. Um, I am not usurping the office or the responsibilities of the Igwe, no. On the contrary, I am obeying the demands of my designation as the President General 
of the community. I must preserve our values. You see, Dad, you always do what you need to do, always to protect our tradition. Thank you very much. Um, you see, our forefathers left us a very rich legacy, and it's our responsibility to protect and preserve that legacy. You may not know this, but we are all products of a very proud cultural heritage. That's our inheritance. And um, I, at the PG, must preserve the sacrosanctity of our cultural and traditional values. I always insist on your being by my side so you can learn a few things um, and learn how to take very hard decisions. You see, Whenever you're confronted with challenging situations, that's what tries you out as a man. That's when to take very hard, tough decisions. By the way, I am the present general, no doubt. But I can tell you sitting down here that you are the de facto PG of our community. Why am I saying that? If they look for me and they don't find me and they see you, I am here and now conferring you with the authority to act on my behalf. And that means that whatever decision you take will be binding on every member of the community. I want you to bear that in mind. Come on, pull up. giving me shoes that are bigger than my feet. You see, you seem to be forgetting the son of who you are. You are the son of Chief Odumegu Obunanzizo of Abiago. No shoes will ever be too large for this feet of yours. It's your entitlement. Therefore, don't shirk your responsibility. Mm -hmm. I have conferred the authority on you and you must use that authority with plenty of discretion. Well, my one. <laughs> Thank you. Jesus, Jiggy, 
آسادی کنابا مریگی انگمه ویوا ای یه میکه اوکی دیله چوفو کم رایده I know you pay the debt you did not owe I owe the debt I could not pay I needed someone to take my sins away Oh, so I can sing a brand new song. Amazing grace. Oh, yes. Lord Jesus paid a debt that I could never. Oh, yeah. Shall we? God, I worship you. Thank you for Thank you for time. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. We are persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Amen. Always bearing about in the body of the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, may you bless the whole world. You would give it light and understanding to the simple heart. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in the pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restored my soul. Reverend Father Benedict, I can't believe this is coming from you. How can you take such a ridiculous decision, resigning your position as a priest of the Roman Catholic Church, abandoning your call to priesthood? Well, let me just believe this is not coming from you, that I didn't say this. Your Lordship, sir, please can you accept my resignation later? My decision is personal. I am no longer a Catholic priest. I am the only son of my parents. I will not go to Munavo. Heavenly Father, bless you. Yeah, 
<laughs> the seven eyed vulture of this community. Moga <laughs> mo. You're welcome. Dibia Galili Dibia. Oh, no good you better into a wafa. We have come to greet you. In fact, I am here to greet you. I say we are here because I'm coming on behalf of our people. I am we are so happy for everything that you have done for us. If you may like so um or the me or the me would say I should come with this coat to oh, appreciate you. Magatwana eight to onion and go mellow. So I am here with this goat uh, to appreciate you. <laughs> I am grateful for people like you, you and Chief Odume. You thought it wise to come and thank the gods for what the gods have done for them. Dalo, Dalo. You and Chief Odume. The gods of this land will keep you in the key market day. Is it? In all your market day. Is it? In Afo market day. Is it? In Unko market day. Is it? Ki go go le. Oga de lo no mana toto de lo no mana ibe de lo no mana. Is it? Nde chalo ko no mutu on. Ha bu no kata de lo sa so. O go zime. O go zime. O no ga de ki chi maka ni chi ara. O go zime na. O no ga de ki si mele maka ni si mele ara ata. O ga de bia. <laughs> As you and Odumegu have thought it wise to feed the gods with this goat, yes, the gods will continue to feed you and your family. He said, Dalo, Libya Kalaka, eating bed into a waffle. Get up and get up. There will be fun. Ah, okay. <laughs> Hey! Oh, good, sir. Aha! Oh, good, sir. Your lordship, there is something I would like us to discuss. Okay. Sit. I'm listening. Your lordship, Omonabo community is the only place that has no presence of a Catholic priest in this diocese. Consequently, we have lost three priests because no one wants to go there. I want to suggest you recall Father Jerome Chilupe Mukeke and send him there. At least that will serve as a penance for his offense. I give Jerome an indefinite suspension for his misgivings. I know your lordship. But if we must tell ourselves the truth, Father Jerome is the kind of priest we need in Imuna for right now. <laughs> we all know that he's not a stranger to spiritual powers and houses. Jerome is very arrogant. Arrogant, exactly. That is the kind of arrogance we need in Imuna for right now. I may not like his style of offer too, but if we really, really need the presence of another Catholic priest in Munabo, then Father Jerome Okeke is the right person. Your Lordship, I know how difficult it is for you to make this decision owing to the fact that his punishment was to serve as a penance in the first place. I recall him back said that all precedents that anyone can do something and get away with it. But we have to prove that God's power is supreme. But the Catholic Church has been ridiculed in Umudabo. And this time we need a different approach, Your Lordship. Make it happen, Jude. Bless Your Lordship. Mamma, 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 
Good day, Father. Good day, Ma. Welcome. Good day, Ma. God be with His house. Amen, Father. Father, please, can you come and sit down? Oh, oh no problem. Um, my name is Father Michael Jude. I am the secretary to the Bishop of Oka Diocese. Father, you're welcome. Thank you. Father, I tried to have an appointment with Bishop so that I could appeal on behalf of my son, but it was not successful. Where is your son? He traveled to Ghana for his junior sister's graduation, but will be back next week, next tomorrow. It's all right. <laughs> I'm here on behalf of the bishop. When he comes back, tell him that Father Jude Michael came looking for him. I will definitely do that. Tell Father. him to see me as soon as possible. It's okay, Father. It's okay. I'll be on my way now. Okay. Uh, uh, Father, please offer me the opportunity to give you something. Don't bother. When I come again next time. Father, is that a promise? It is a promise. Okay, Father. Bye-bye, Father. May the peace of the Lord be with you. Amen, Father. Bye-bye, Father. Hey. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my> Father. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Mamma, 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 Mm. Yes. Yeah. Hope all is well. Eh, Amara, I came to remind you about the Umada's decision. Eh, they insist that every young girl in this village must participate in Egu more cultural dance, and they also said that we have to pay up for our uniform fee before this coming Saturday. Yes. Yeah. Are you talking to me? <laughs> yes, I'm talking to you. Me, Amara. Hmm. How many times do I have to tell you people that I, Amara, cannot be involved in anything that does not glorify God? Ah. Eh? How many times? Ah, Amara. Eh? See, this your dance is fetish. Eh? I cannot be part of it. Enona, I can't. I'm consigning that your... What did you call it again? A good more cultural dance uniform. Uh-huh. Oh? No, no, yeah. Ada, Ada. Wait. What is it? Hey, Amara. You've already paid. Uh, you should be thankful. Your brother has paid for you. Exactly, yes. yes. My brother has paid for me. Mm -hmm. Who told him to pay for me? Yeah. Did you even beg him to pay no. for me? Because I did not beg him to pay for me. What was this to this one? Eh? Amara. I'm going home. He is going to come and collect that money for you, bro. You need to provide that money for him. Because I did not beg him. Amara. I did not beg him. That's the one that you go and pay fast. Who says him to pay for me? What rubbish is this? 
Who sent him? Please, you are going this way, I beg. Why did you send him? Reverend Father Chitu Bebo Keke, how was your sister's graduation? Uh, your Lordship, it was very successful. Thank you very much. Oh, good, good. I was the one that sent Reverend Father Jude to your family house to inform you that indefinite suspicion against you had been lifted after due consideration. You are hereby assigned as the parish priest in charge of Sacred Heart Parish, Umunabo. Reverend Father Okeke. Oh, your Lordship, I am a servant of God. So whatever God chooses for me, I will go. Good, good, good. Thank you. Uh, you can see my secretary oh. for the letters. Thank you. Your Thank you. I've missed you these few days. I miss you too, oh, my son. Let, let me, okay, I saw it. Mama, leave it. No, I will carry it. It's heavy. I will carry it. You're going to die. No, ma'am. He said it's 2,000 naira. Thank you. Mama, you're going to die. No, ma'am. No. You're going to die. No, ma'am. Hey, 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 no, ma'am. Oh, God. Uh, How was the meeting with the bishop? It was fine. I have been recalled. Oh. Thanks, Vita, blessed Virgin Mary. Mm -hmm. Hey, that means you're going back to St. Anthony's Parish. Uh, no, no, Mama, not really. I have been transferred to Sacred Heart Parish, Umunabo. Umunabo! Umunabo! Mban! Mban! Hey! No. No, my son. I cannot afford to lose you. I can't. Umunabo. They're dangerous. I'm hostile to the Christians. My, my son, so many Reverend Fathers have died there. I've even heard many have resigned from their priesthood eh? because of the atrocity there. My son, you cannot afford to go there because I will not want to lose you, please, my son. You Mama. cannot go. Mama, it's Mama, not a place Mama, for Mama, you. Mama, Mama, it's okay. Oh, Mama, 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 Mama. Listen, Mama. <laughs> My Bible tells me in the book of Luke, chapter 10, verse 19, that God has given me power to tread upon serpents, upon scorpions, on every power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means help me. This is not the time to quote Bible. As no as on zone zone. I have never seen that in any way in the Bible. Eh? Yes. You know, you are as stubborn as your father. Let us go inside and continue this, uh, this uh, conversation. Mama, Let us God, go inside. If God no. can take me to Omonabo, he has all it takes to protect me. Ma. Stop bothering. Mm -hmm. Okay, sky by inside. Hey! Did 
Hey! Oh, one man. When you are in a hurry, two, you're not even looking right. What's the problem? Uh, it, it, all is not all right, Chief. If you do me, all is not all right. You can't tell me The worst is about to happen. What is it? The worst is Can't can't What? I cannot wait. Wait, 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 wait. Did you confirm it? Jesse Kishi Ajumo died. They marry Nembo. I cannot say what I don't know. I don't know how to butcher that to move lately. Huh? Is it true? You authenticated this. What? Why? 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 Something has to be done. Something just has to be done. Our people say that the truth does not run in the daytime in vain. It's either it is pursuing something Something is pursuing the toad. I buy no doko from Mojoko. Okay, we are going to go there. We are Sanabo. The beer can't be beer. We are going to go. Hello, na chokwi mani. Okay, the beer. Hello, na chokwi mani. Reverend Father Okeke has been pushed. Said to Omonabo by the Roman Catholic Church. Impossible. Impossible. It is a G. Are you very sure of what you just said? Okay, Dibia. If you look at this, I do you know the other Jua. Oh, no, then go to like a dig, go away, Mamma. I say what I know as I speak to you now. From the information reaching us, he will be in this land in a week's time. He will be in this land next week. So, or do me which if I say I should tell you. So that you go to him where? Go to the palace. Do everything to convince you where that you should not allow such thing to happen. That you should terminate that appointment immediately. And you actually, and you actually, we don't want him. But you actually, Father Okeke, coming into this community next week. I will do everything possible to make sure that a useless man does not step his foot on this land. I can get engaged here. You get engaged here, and you have to go there. I will be on my way. Be go. that I will come and see him as soon as I am done. With my meeting with the way. As for Father Okeke, he will not step his foot on this land. But while I am still, there is a more of this community. Hey! Abundantly to deliver and to save, my God is able. 
abundantly to deliver those who trust in him in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen father lord almighty god the i am that i am the beginning and the end my alpha and omega father lord almighty i come before your throne of mercy father lord this morning to ask for forgiveness of my sins to ask for forgiveness of that of my father, my brother, every member of this family, Father Lord Almighty God, anything we have done to offend you, Lord, anything we have done that has cast a spell or a darkness upon this land, Father Lord Almighty God, we pray that you forgive us in Jesus' name. Father Lord Almighty God, we pray that you bring restoration into this kingdom, into this community. Father Lord Almighty, we thank you for bringing this Reverend Father Okeke into this community, Lord. We pray that the same way you brought him into this community, Father Lord, you will protect his path. Father Lord, you will direct his path. You will be with him. You will cover him with your precious blood, Father. No evil that, that sets your eyes on that Reverend Father would ever prosper in Jesus' name. Father Lord, he will come here and be able to manifest every work of God that he has been destined to come here to do, Father Lord. He will bring light into this community, Lord, Father Lord. Father Lord, all the people that are living in darkness, that are not able to see the light, Father Lord, I'm specially dedicating my father, my father and my brother into your holy hands, Lord, Father Lord. Help them to see the light, Lord. Give me the strength to continue to preach to them, to continue to make them understand that they need to embrace you, Lord. They need to know that you are the light of the world and it's only you that can give them peace and restoration, Lord. Father, Lord Almighty God, Daddy, please, come to my, to my aid. Help my family, Lord. Help this community, Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Surely his goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. Greetings, Your Majesty. Ezemo, you are welcome. Your Majesty. The mouthpiece of the gods. Your face does not look as it used to be. Your Majesty. Asana bana drokwa no moju oko. Yikwe koki ojwe tika to lagati bo kuma. Bunanya mwa droze ba populia. Your Majesty. There is a very big problem which we need to attend to as fast as possible. What is the problem? The Catholic Church sent us a new priest, Father Jerome Okeke. I know you must have heard of him. And you are aware he will be in this community in the next seven days. Your Majesty, you need to stop that from happening. Nikiribo, Your Majesty, I don't have the powers to stop Father Kege from coming to this community to do his works. With due respect, Your Majesty, you do. You are the king of this community. Just a petition. Write a petition to the Catholic Bishop and they will stop him from coming to this community. Ikiriko, you've not even told me your reason of uh, saying I should stop him from coming. After all, he's not a threat to this community. Igwe. Nde mado na afi inyoli inyoli. Mana nde mwa na afi imili ini. That young man 
is a threat to our tradition. And a threat to our tradition is a threat to us. Him stepping his foot on this land is a great abomination. And we need to do everything we can to stop him. Your Majesty, write a petition against him to the Bishop of the Catholic Church. Because him coming into this community will spell nothing but doom. Father Keke will mind his business. And you as the custodian of our tradition should mind our tradition. So I still repeat, he's never a threat to our tradition. Your Majesty, I suggest you sleep over this matter before it is too late. I can only now go and see Odanya. I didn't meet in your say. My Kananya no sadder on a man. Over one and Katiji Bajam Madu. Kiji Bajan no one. Please sleep over this matter. I promise to sleep over this. But my decision still remains my decision. Even if I can do anything about it, I do not think I would do it. Long live your highness. This doesn't look good. I have not seen a cripple in this mood before. Ngu. I hope there is no problem at all. This goes beyond what I think. There is definitely a problem. I just pray this does not involve us at all. Who knows? But, but why is it called Ikrikbo? Because the Ikrikbo that I know is a very dangerous and spiritual animal. I don't understand. Chike, you should have asked him. Me, ask him. Now I see that he don't like me at all. Don't ask a question you cannot handle the answer. You see, Chike, my father once told me that when you search for a lizard too much, you might end up finding a crocodile. So what did you do that made your father to say that to you? Chike, I asked a question bigger than me. So what does that mean? What does that mean? Mind your business. Chike, mind your business. Let's go. Are you coming or not? How did it go? 
Anya Muadros will never open it. Oh, Gele. How did it go? We have a bigger problem on our hands. I don't understand you. What, 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 what exactly do you mean? The Igwe said that he does not think he will stop Fado Keke from entering this community. And even if he can, he won't. The Igwe said that. Hmm. I hope he knows who we are talking about. Did you tell him that Fado Keke gets into a community? Destroying the community, destroying their beliefs, destroying their deities. This is the one he wants us to admit into. No, no. Look. In Jahaba festival is in two months' time. Eh? This is the worst time to allow somebody like Fado Keke into our community. Does he want our community destroyed? Does he? He can not. He can not. Get the car, we're going to the West Palace. That even, even if he can, he won't. This is what Igwe said. Okay. Your Highness, Ikripo just informed me of your unwillingness to prevent Father Okeke from coming to our community. I felt disturbed, I felt agitated, so I thought I should come and see you. Chief Admiral, it depends on the ground you are being informed. Did he inform you as the Igwe of this kingdom? Or what? As the Igwe of this kingdom, I have made my decision and I believe it must be respected. Your Highness, I have no intention to disrespect your office or your opinion. You are the Igwe of the community. I expect you that you must concede that I am the President General of Umunabo Town Union and in that capacity I reserve the right to question whatever development I think is inimical to the progress of our community. In this case, Fadokeke's presence will not augur well for us. That's why I am here, not to question your authority. Chief Odumegu, I don't think Fado Keke's entrance into this community should be a threat. They will mind their own business while we mind ours. So there's nothing like a threat there. If Fado Keke would stop at minding his own business, I wouldn't be disturbed. Father Okeke specializes in encroaching on other people's business. Let me put it straight. Father Okeke has a way of turning people against a traditional mode of worship. And of course, by the time he is through with our community, we would all end up bowing to a foreign god. This is why I am disturbed, because I know Father Okeke's reputation. As long as I live, there is nothing like foreign god. The only problem there is we and Christians don't agree on the way to assess that same God. I respect your opinion, Your Highness. And I sincerely hope that Father Keke appreciates the fact that our own deity is equal to his own God and therefore must allow us freedom to worship our own God in a traditional way. I am here purely to say I don't appreciate the fact that you are disposed to accepting him into our community. But since in your capacity at the Igwe you have made that decision, so be it. I respect your decision, Your Highness. Sorry I turned down your request, but it does not mean I do not appreciate it. Your Highness, I thank you for the honor. I have spent all my life protecting our community 
and guaranteeing the preservation of our traditional beliefs. Now the Igwe wants to stultify my efforts by compromising the sacredness of our values. He dies tonight. Yes, the Igwe must die tonight. The responsibility for snuffing out his life rests squarely on your shoulders and you must execute this assignment tonight. Avadi Chief, your wish is my command. Nothing can stop me. Good. Again, Nothing. make sure nobody sees you. And most important of all, leave no traces. Repeat, leave no traces. Good luck. If I Nah, yeah. it's not it. I don't want to catch cold though. Uh-huh. You can. Um what what do you have to say about uh, about the the issue between our Igwe and uh, the chief priest? About the coming of the of the father? There is nothing like my say. Huh? What I'm trying to say is that uh, what our chief priest them are doing is very good. How? I support them, yes, very well. How? Eh? See, how can we allow a foreign god from another country to come and start ruling in this our community? Mm -hmm. eh? It's very wrong. In fact, eh, I'm supporting uh, Chief uh, Chief Odumegu. I'm supporting Chief Odumegu, yes! But, but, uh, uh, see, I I support what Igwe was saying, no? In the sense that if this father comes, he will not, he, as he says, he will mind his own business. He hasn't, he, he, his coming will, will not be an interruption to our, uh, to our tradition. And I even heard that he's, he's doing many miracles. Listen, eh? what you he heard. Can even the, the, the dead. What you heard is my trophy of what you cannot my crophy. Ah. So you should forget about that thing. Although know, that I don't know, know, know the meaning of that English language, but I know it's good for your head because you, you don't know it. Well, Onion can see me. Agu. I can see me. Onion can see me. My fellow guard. Your fellow guard. Oh, yeah, you are me. You are You are You I'm celebrating, oh, I'm making merry, I'm having my phone. Yeah. <laughs> but the weather is so cool and there is cool. Uh -huh. So, I'm using this one to strengthen my bones <laughs> and my strength against tomorrow. See, yeah, let me tell you. Well, you're, not uh, you're not doing well. How am I not doing You're not doing well. Look at how you are enjoying. Yeah. And, you, and you cannot involve us into your enjoyment. A big long you know. story. You are up with you. Job, go and get cup and come. Let me add you guys to my merry you know let's make merry go and get cup and come let's let's let's, 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 let's celebrate oh, come, 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 come. be quick be quick be quick you see eh? oh, yeah, nah, man, can see, eh, man. this is one of the best thing you have ever done eh? or even trying to do because i'm not drinking the drink so don't worry let him get the cup you will be in my level very soon you understand in a my and i see that one oh, no. wow. this is one of the best you are trying to do my brother, my brother, since afternoon I've been on this one, I cannot take this one without you people. Only came along like an uncle. Let me see. I'm going to go. 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 I'm going to go to the house. This one will go straight to your bones and strengthen them. And by the time you finish this one, my brother, you will be a strong man. Drink, my brother. Today is today. Hey. Hey, baby. 
Serius. Strong gua. Strong gua. Apa <laughs> this gua? Serious strong. Very original from Taiwan. The mount all like this one anybody cross your buyer jaja. He will love my bem mad wotu wotu. This is what our king used to take in the afternoon. Sure. At night. We should be taking our own. I'm telling you. Hey, <laughs> drink up, drink up, drink up. I'm doing so. Drink up. Drink up. I like it, Drink up. Drink up. Drink up. Drink up. Drink up. Drink up. Original. Chai. Original. Drink So, I was just having for the make it better. What's the problem now? No, boy. How come? Timbo. Our king. How come the whole Igwe lying here lifelessly? But wait, for If our Igwe should die, it should be at the palace. Not here. 
How could he have used the money he got from selling that land, all of it, to buy a kiosk just for selling palm wine and bush meat? <laughs> I don't believe you. If I come here, Guam. Okay. Something serious has happened, though. What is it? The great local has fallen. You are sounding like a native doctor. Tell me what you mean. I don't understand you. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think it's too early in the day to tell such jokes. <laughs> I was with the Igwe yesterday. Where did you wake up from? Who did you go and run down? Who? If I'm for, can I bag here? I call him Marco. Nanya, I'm not a bad guy. Chokolo. You saw the Igwe's dead body. Who knows? I must think about it. Zoku. As I'm speaking with you now, his lifeless body. Is going to go to the palace. A bruise here, let the palace get a man like the Akankata, near Wagi Hana Wagi Abaketa. Hey! Wait, 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 wait. His lifeless body is being taken to the palace. Where did he die? Where? His body was found in the bush. He bore him. Um, okay, I'll go to the palace. He came now. He came now. He came now. Hey! This has never happened in the history of the Manabu community. Sir, we have to fight to the root of this matter. Could it be we have forfeited the gods unknowingly? Oh. Huh? Honestly, I am scared of all the development. I am scared. It will not happen. It will not happen. Why did the Igwe leave the palace without his guards? Oh. Oh. oh yeah. That is the question. Yes. Hey. Why? Chief Admego. Hmm. I thought I would come here to be told that this was a mere misinformation. Mm -mm. It happened exactly as you heard it. Yes. Hey! Yes. You go and I go. Hi! Mm. Now, um, what do we do? Um, I am suggesting that we we contact the police. Yes. I believe that 
The gods know something that we don't know. Exactly. That's, that's why I'm looking at you. Mm. Yes. Oh, who water? Who water? Uh huh. If it was even here, oh, the air problem. Oh. Our late king was the architect of the nemesis that befell him. The gods struck him dead. What? He took bribe from the Catholic Church to bring Fado Keke into this community. What? Hey. What? None. Father Okeke is a man the gods are angry with because he has continuously desecrated their places of worship. Mm. <sighs> Father. Unfortunately, he aligned with Father Okeke when the gods have decided to smite him. And the gods took his life. You go to Loku. You go to Loku. You go to Loku. Ay! Makanoni walun kasalo se. Alo se walun kamenyo yanya. Okoze me. His death is a curse, and his corpse shall be thrown into the evil forest. Hey! This has never happened in the history of Omanabo community. Sir, hey. we have to fight to the root of this matter. Could it be we have fulfilled the gods unknowingly? Oh. Yeah, hmm? Honestly, I am scared of all the development. <laughs> I am scared. It would not to them. It would not to me. Why did the Igwe leave the palace without his guards? Oh. Oh. oh yeah. That is the question. Yes. Hi. Why? Chief of Mego. Makarechem Niva Abase. I thought I would come here to be told that this was a mere misinformation. Mm -mm. It happened exactly as you heard it. Yes. Hey! Yes. You go, Mego. Hi! Mm. Now, um, what do we do? Um, I am suggesting that we we contact the police. Yes. I believe that the guards know something that we don't know. Exactly. That's, that's why I'm looking at you. Mm. Yes. Who water? Who water? Uh huh. If it was even here, oh, yeah, problem.
was the architect of the name that fell. The gods struck him dead. Yes. What? What? He took bribe from the Catholic Church to bring Father Faith into this community. What? Hey. What? None of us. Father Keke is the man the gods are angry with because he has continuously desecrated the places of worship. Come if you take out the eye, eh? Hmm. When you don't know how to deal with it, when you don't know how to deal with it, Father. Unfortunately. He aligned with Father Okeke. Then the gods have decided to smite him. <laughs> and the gods took his life. You go to Loku. 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 I was the one who can do it. I was the Una vlugo do buze beto onwea. What do we do now? Kediva ye me. Ase no ka ka la ba di ti ke ji oku ya. Bam. Na no ko ma mi le onu. I suggest you with someone from among you to be the intel leader. Till I hear from the gods, the family, the next king will come to us. Mm. But now, his corpse should be thrown into the evil forest immediately. Oh! I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to Abu Bajong is a grieving comaro, Irobu. Who never got a near Irobu. Abu Bajong is a grieving comaro, Irobu. Who never got a near Irobu. Hey! This is a man I love so much. A wife, a man I love so much. A man I respect so much. How can a wife condescend so low? Can you even measure Why? Why? If you needed money, you needed money. Why not talk? We have men that have money. Tell me what kind of money would away he need that he would uh, that we cannot give him. Look at this very bear. Too much money. I don't be a woman come on a genom. I don't know when I want to be let go. How can away we behave like this? Make go wa, go wa, I believe go wa. He messed himself up. Look at it. Huh? What is really going on? How could Igwe just die like that? He's not a Christian, but he is liberal. How can the church or anyone 
offer bribe to Igwe in order to allow a priest here. Mba. No, that is not possible. The Roman Catholic Church I know can never descend so low. Oh, if the next Igwe is like my father, then we have a problem. Christianity will witness the worst persecution in human history in this land. <sighs> Almighty God, you remain our God. With you, we will always triumph. My people of Fumonambo. No. No. We have gathered here in response to the situation in which we have found ourselves. We didn't see it coming, but it has happened. There's nothing we can do to, to accept it the way we have seen it. The eye of the gods, Ikripo, have told us what to do. And that is why we have gathered here to choose someone who will lead us in acting capacity. Go on. My own suggestion is that since we have a town union president in the person of chief Odumegu, Obuna Zuzo, it is pertinent we allow him lead us in an acting capacity until he hears from the gods. That's my suggestion. Yeah. 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 Ase kwa na oku kwoto adelombaya always oku na na apogi ubu na nzizo abuli bambu mane ni mo wa yi na eba ai na apogi obi ora okonel okonenge bo bia yi okonenge kaicho 
Chief Odmegu, Obuna and Zuzo, Nam. It's good on the buy. Fast, you get your line, Gabba. Gabba, you are the moon. Oh, oh, oh. Um, a canoe moon. Can ever name a moon even? Obuna and Zuzo, can a quavo name a leave? Obuna and Zuzo. I thank you very much for this honor. On your chassis, I am overwhelmed. But only was a guinea. Near to Aquanania, never gave you to it. My cool sinner, eh? No quack when you're not an acre. I didn't live with a dad who we are. Also, on your bonani as a lorry, the Megany, Joe Jabba, a bow. I thank all of you for imposing this responsibility on me. Hmm. Let me make an observation. I don't know if you know that Reverend Father Okeke, who we all know specializes in destroying the credibility of the gods of the people, has been posted to Munabo. I want to move Okay. I am suggesting that we stop him before he comes here. One. Hey! Open up, Zuzo. No. Done. Dubai. I have an objection. Ikri bo, the eye of the gods, said that the gods have risen against Fadokeke. We don't need to stop him from coming here. Stopping him from coming here seems as if he is more powerful than our gods. If he needs to be stopped, let the gods stop him. This is my own humble opinion. I arrest my case. Um, <clears throat> okay, for you have spoken well. The barn is in there when they were moved. Money, but you never get me a bubble. The barn, you know, see, we poor came when all the Macagini, Macora come on. You have spoken well, as I said. I don't know whether you were there when Ikripo addressed us and told of the cause of the death of the Igwe. He said the Igwe took bribe in order to let Father Okeke into our community. And that is what killed him. He was Nemosis Wemegini. I am suggesting we stop him. It shouldn't be the fight. We must live for our gods. Let us stop him before he sets foot on our land. This is what I am saying. Because I know what it means to allow him into Munabo. It was one What am I learning to go? Ngo. Your father said that you have an information for me. Ngo. Ngo. Dike. Ngo, how many times have I called you? I called you three times. Ngo. I want you to assemble all your men from east, west, north, and south. I want you all to mount guard in every entrance leading to this village. As a matter of fact, Ngo, no visitor would enter this village without a proper identification. 
There is a particular Reverend Father that I want you all to stop from entering this village. His name is Father Jerome Okeke. Jerome Okeke. And more so, I want you to understand that you have the authority to shoot at sight. Gigi, another been a kai kai. By all means, you mean? Shoot at sight, if possible. Then consider it done.
Ifanye, what is it? Huh? I speak. Go ahead and Uncle, uh, I saw father pre preaching at the village square. What? Come. Hey, which one the father you talking about? Father now. You mean father Keke? Yes. What? Are you serious? Are you sure of what you're saying? Huh? I, I, I swear. I swear. I can't believe this. I'm serious now. I saw him. I saw him. You can't you listen to me. Huh? If I discover that this is a prank or a setup, I'll personally shoot you and feed your flesh to the vultures. Go believe me now. Believe me, I'll show you. Boys, let's go now. Let's go. Lead the way. Jogi koge bupo, abani loro gehi. Jogi koge bupo, abani loro gehi. Jogi koge. Umuna bonjani ogehi o kwe ka Jesus bata no bi Umuna by saying jogi koge bupu o abani goro gehi jogi koge bupu abani ro Umuna bon jogi koge bupu abani goro gehi kwe ka Jesus bata no who are you and how did you enter this community? On your... I am Ungu. Joje Bazoku of Fomonabo. Odogu. The leader of the community vigilante, as you can see. Now I ask you again. How did you gain access into this community? My name is Reverend Father Jerome Okeke. These are the Reverend Sisters with me. I am the new parish priest posted to this community, Sacred Heart Parish, Umunabo. As you can see, I'm here to do the work of my Father in Heaven. You all need salvation, so you can come on, join us. Salvation, but we'll be there. Father Okeke, or whatever they call you, I don't know how you managed to enter this community. I'll find out where the lapses came from. You are not welcomed here. Leave now! Um. It's like you didn't hear me well. Well, I said that I am here on a divine mandate. I am here to do the work of my father in heaven who sent me here. All right? Listen, I am talking about the king of kings, the lord of lords, the lilies of the valley, the I am that I am, unshakable rock of ages, the one who created all things and was created by nothing. He doesn't need me nor you to become God. That is the person I'm talking about. Now, how can I be walking under such supreme authority? And you ask me to leave. My son, that's not right. What did you just say? Did you hear him call? My son? How is something wrong with you? Father Gekke! You must be mad. We said you should leave. We don't need you in this village. So leave! Or are you deaf? Are you deaf? Father Gekke. I can see you chose arrogance and stupidity over your safety. Thank you for that compliment. Njogi koge bupu habani royoge hi The hard way you want it, the hard way you shall get it. Njogi koge bupu habani royoge hi Work at Jesus, but I know. Asima, hallelujah. Njogi koge bupu. Abani goroge hihe. Oh, njogi. Umunne ma abani goroge hihe. Njogi koge bupu. Abani goroge hihe. Hallelujah. Njogi koge bupu. Abani goroge hihe. Jesus, <laughs> 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 
Chaludo, Eziudo, Udo Gadiki Romboge, Weka Jesus Bata no Piki, Omonapo, Njogi Koge Pupu, Abani Roroge, I sin and Jogi Koge Pupu, Abani Rorohe. Isiaja festival is a very important one. So we must prepare properly so that we can get the blessings from the gods. Yeah, that's my concern. Any problem? Chief, as, as we speak right now, Fadoke is in this community. Hey! Wait, wait, wait. Hey! Are you sure of what you're saying? Yes, Chief. That Father Okeke is in this community. How did he come in? How did he come? Did he fly? How did he come in? That, that man is evil. Chief, I, I even I even fired, I even shot at him. Shut up. Shut up! I don't tolerate incompetence. Yes! I don't book carelessness. I prepared you people for I can be go see him. I will deal with you yes. properly. I will hey. I know the extent we went to ensure that Okeke does not come into this community and you're standing before me. Get off my Leave this place now! Shut up, 
To the shrine. Tell the Kripo. I found okay case here. How is that possible? I don't know. Just we are not Batago. I'll be coming to see him. It's People are from Monabo. Light has come to this community. You know what God said? He said that light shineth in darkness and darkness comprehended it what? Not. I am going to read a portion from the Bible for you to understand more of what I'm talking about and our mission here. I'm reading from the book of Luke chapter 10 from verse 8, I read. And into whatsoever city ye enter, and they receive you, eat such things as are set before you. Listen. And heal the sick that are therein. And say unto them, The kingdom of God is come nigh unto you. The kingdom of God is come nigh, near. Unto what? Unto you. This is the word of God. As we step here, if you receive us, we come with the power from God to set the captives free, to heal the sick. Oh, I'm happy people are coming. Uh, to heal young the man, sick. young man, young man, young man. So this is true. Honestly, honestly. On whose authority are you doing this? Sir, man needs authority from God. And God does not need authority from any man. Let me rephrase. God does not need authority from man for him to break his word like a bread to these people, to these hungry people. I asked you what gave you the audacity to do what you're doing and you're talking nonsense. Do you know who is standing before you? Who do you think you are? Can you be Well, I'm sorry, I, I didn't introduce myself. I know who you are. We don't want you here. Please leave. Sir, you, you cannot stop the work of God. I'm sorry. I said, we don't want you here and we don't want your influence. I have it on good authority that you have destroyed a lot of traditions. We don't want the same to happen here. Please, leave in your own interest. Well, sir, with due respect, I come in peace. I am not here to destroy anyone's tradition. No. I am here to do the work of he who sent me. I don't care who sent you. In my capacity as the leader of this community, I am saying that we don't want you here and we don't want what you represent. Now listen to me and listen properly. I am the leader of this community and my name is Chief Odumegu Eze Obunanzizo Note. Obunanzizo. We don't want you here in my magnanimity i am allowing you to hover around for four market days at the end of which you must leave this place now listen to me and listen carefully if at the end of four market days i still find you here nobody will hold me responsible for whatever happens to you let's go
Oh, I'm sorry, people of God. I'm so sorry. You know, we are used to this, okay? Do not be scared. This is normal. I am 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 Great Kripo. Greatest, the great Kripo. My father said I should come and tell you that there's a very big problem in our land. The great Kripo. My father said I should come and let you know that the Reverend Father in question has entered our land. Father Okeke is at the village square. I have seen it. I did everything I could to stop him. But since we could not stop him, we will serve him what we served others. It, it so beats my imagination. After all we did to mount God round the community, he still made his way in. Where is your father? Um, I, I am sure my father is heading to the village square to confirm this news. Go and tell your father that I am still the custodian of the culture of this land and I will fight this battle to finish. I will deliver your message, the great Ikiri. Hehehe. <laughs> 
Can you just have a cake? I want to get fat. Hey, what are you coming and giggling? I'm cooking an egg. I'm giggling an egg. Hmm. Ah. 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 Hmm. What you doing that you are lent that money into this community? Okay. We are as confused as you are. My friend, shut up. I am still talking. What were you doing? That man is in this community somewhere preaching. When you were given instructions to mount guard and make sure you were even given instructions to shoot at sight. You don't know what you have cost us. Oh, double listen. Let me explain. Huh? We we are there. We... My friend, don't shut up. You have nothing to say. What explanation do you have to give me? You should be ashamed of yourself. Would you want to tell me that that man is as powerful as our tradition? What am I going to do? I don't see an actual bam bam. That man is evil. I saw what he's capable of today. I lost one of my boys mysteriously. That man is too powerful. Shut up, my friend, and stop saying nonsense. Is that man as powerful as our tradition? Tell me, how powerful is the man? Is he as powerful as our tradition? Is that man as half? How powerful as the financial empowerment the father is giving you people every month? And you guys should pray that my father do not ask you guys to refund him of every single dime he has spent on you people. Because you're a disgrace. God. Bunch of idiots. What am I going to do? I am sorry. I'm already investigating how he managed to get into this community. Of what use is your stupid investigation? Tell me, what exactly are we going to do with that investigation of yours? The man in question is away in the community. He's preaching somewhere. And you open your stinking mouth to tell me you're investigating. Like I said, prepare your minds. You might end up refunding my father of every dime you have spent on you. The prophet of a time has come. The savior of the time has come The prophet of the time has come He has come to set us free From the land of the evil The prophet of the time has come Otito Dreno Jesu Amen I'm so delighted to be in your midst today. You know, I am here in Umunabo on the divine mandate. I believe so much that if it is not the will of God, I won't be here because there are certain circumstances that should make me not to be here. But I'm here. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, well, I am. Um, I noticed that Omonabo community is being held under serious bondage of the devil. But then, my Bible tells me in the book of John, chapter number 10, verse number 10, the thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. But now listen to the assurance. But I am come that they might have life and have life more abundantly. Amen. Brethren, this is the word of God. The light of God has come.
to destroy the bondage of darkness. Amen. Amen. Now you don't, you didn't hear me. You didn't hear me. I said that the light of God has come to destroy every yoke of the devil. Amen. 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 Isaac, do you have it? There you can stand. Father, we thank God for sending someone like you to this our community. Bless you. Surely, Umunabo needs to start cleansing. Many families are living in serious bondage. You can go around and check for yourself and see how many good buildings we have, except for the demonic people. It's all right, Father, you can, you can sit down. Hmm? Uh, yes, Father. We are really, really happy to have you in our land. May the Lord Almighty keep blessing you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. It's all right. Oh, I see. Well, I am going to start family liberation in this community immediately. Amen. I have asked the catechist to compile the list of families that are members of this parish. Catechist, I want to see that list this evening. Yes, Father. Consider it all. <laughs> to the glory of God. To the glory of God. Um, once again, I'm assuring you, people of God, that light has come into this community. Amen. Amen. You know what my Bible said? God said in his wonderful book that light shineth in darkness mm. and darkness comprehended it what? No. Not no. your Bible scholars. <laughs> All right, uh, with this, we've come to the end of this meeting. Mm -hmm. The prophet of all times. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you. Shall we? Savior of the time has come. The prophet of the In the name of the Father. Heavenly Father. Christ. What kind of thing is this? I don't know what kind of thing is this. Is this thing possible? How can these boys sneak into our community? This devil is sneaking into our community. Which means these vigilante boys, maybe they, 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 they got drunk and slept off. If not, there's no way this boy would have, slept, would have sneaked into our community. But even, even at that, gods of our land, how can you people allow such things to, to happen? Una no go name. Eh? Why should you people allow him enter? Una kujiri opa kujiri naka kumuye. Just, 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 just imagine that boy. That boy. Me ben kiri kai me ben kani ju. Me ben kiri kai me ben kani ju. Definition of this boy is nightmare, and his presence means terror to our tradition. Eh? Mano yare me. Yes! Eponando! Epono! Papa! Papa, I've been standing here watching you talk to yourself. Papa, what is wrong? What is eating you? Shut up! What is eating you? You want eat one up? Idiot! Get me back! What is even wrong with you? Mother, come and spirit! Mother, I'm going to get if I anywhere I am, you will be monitoring me. What is your problem? Get in the name, maybe. The former I can worry. It matter, Anya. Go low to auto. It matter, Anya. Go low to auto. But I don't know why you're raising your voice at me. I merely asked a very simple question. Are you shouting at me? No, no, why are you running? Again, you're asking question. Why is intelligent woman? You're still shouting. Look at you! Idiot! Well, you are amazing! They are all married now! I even beg you say, please, even if it means marrying an imbecile, I will accept with all pleasure. Get one person and say, this 
This is my somebody that is sitting for my hand in my I will admit you owe nothing. All you do is just stay. You want to talk me? You want to talk me? You want to talk me? Spirit. Nonsense. Mara me galega lo. Eh no bi ona bi ambulamu. What is eating me up? What is going to eat up? I want to take my bucket to. Come and take it now. Be 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 bolia. Can you shoot? Shoot your mouth now. Why don't come and take it? Come and take it. Nonsense. The covenant to the man I wanted. The savior of the time I saw. The prophet 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 of the time I saw. Father. Yes, yes. Um, my name is Amarachi Dumego. My father is the leader of this community. Oh, okay. Chief Odumego. Yes. Oh, your father did everything he could to stop my coming to this community. He is even doing everything he can to make sure I leave. Oh. I'm, I'm so sorry about that. It's okay. I sincerely apologize on his behalf. Right. He doesn't know what he's doing. How do you cope with such a man that detests the church so much? I wouldn't lie. It's very difficult. But nobody can stop me from serving my God. Hmm. Nobody. My daughter, God is your strength, eh? Thank you, All Father. Right. Father, please, may I ask for a favor? Okay. I would like to join your prayer team, if you don't mind. <sighs> Do you know? Yeah, God bless you. Do you know what the Bible said in the book of Ephesians six twelve? Yes, for we battle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and power, rulers of darkness of this world, and spiritual wickedness in high places. Good. Do you understand? that verse of the Bible? Perfectly well, Father. I understand. Listen, joining my prayer team is easy, but staying with my prayer team or in my prayer team, that's where the problem is. You see, you must understand that we constantly battle spiritual powers. Mm. We are constantly under spiritual attack. So if you are not spirit-filled, if you are not filled with the powers of the Holy Ghost, you cannot stand. You may just be a casualty. Oh, no, God forbid. My faith is very strong, Father. I can't do this. All right, be here 8 a.m. tomorrow. We have a family liberation, okay? Oh, thank you, Father. Right. Thank you so much. I will not disappoint you. Oh, God be with you. Thank you, and also with you, Father. my ancestors. Here I am to empire, acquire the required, to obtain, sustain, and maintain all the spiritual powers to rule in the existence of the hidden and in the existence of the
Tipa Boajan to Julo sent me a watermelon to come and deliver a message to you. He has decided to give you another chance to prove yourself worthy of serving. Do not fail. I won't.
Tito Drigesso. Ebu begi bate beni rogu. Ogwa haru. Onye kereke nwere nwe ya. Onye burisi ahuzo. Onye ene siri kodi wara yamfe. Chuku ebu beodo. When I was praying, the Spirit of God revealed to me that there is a sham hidden in your home. Holy Mary. Beside the table. Excuse me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Silence, silence, silence. I'm receiving from heaven. Silence. Yes, Lord. Beside, oh, yes, there's a lantern. Yeah, there's a lantern beside it. But Ignatius, Father, lead me to your house, your room. Let's move, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Show me your, let's go. Please, Father. I dimension of your name, 
every tongue must confess oh, that Jesus Christ is the Lord. He is the King of Kings. All power belongs to Him. My brother, never you joke with the power of God. Never you play with the power of Jesus. No power can withstand the name of Jesus It's the ultimate power All power belongs to Him yeah.